Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a fan replacement on a Dell laptop. At the same time, I'll do a teardown and explain each of the steps, also each of the components. At least you get to identify, and if you want to change your hard drive or upgrade your RAM or change the motherboard or the battery. Hopefully this video would explain and give you an idea on how to do the own repair for yourself. Alright, so let's get started. This is a Dell laptop. And if you take a look here in the back, the model number for this is P75F or P75F003. So this manufacturer date is 2018. First, we need to remove the back plate. And looks like they are just a regular Phillips screws in the back. Nothing really special. The two screws here are not coming out, so just leave it as is. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if the keyboard is attached to it. So it looks like the keyboard here is not a separate keyboard, and it doesn't seem like there's any screw that holds onto the palm rest. And the keyboard is entire one piece with the palm rest. So we probably need to pry open just the back plate itself. So I'm using a plastic prying tool. I like to start mine in a corner where the weakest point is. So it's easier for you to uh, get into it. All right, so let's take your time and the whole back plate will just come right out. Okay, so once the back plate is removed, you get to see your entire computer here. Uh, these are the two fans I was planning to do a replacement on it. As you can see, my fan here on the right side is not spinning. When it's spinning, you can hear that it's, it's scraping the metal. Alright, so I'll be replacing this fan. This fan here is just fine. It spins normal and it doesn't make any noise to that. Okay, and this is your battery. And as you can see, uh, the battery is still in a good condition. It's all flat. If your battery is swollen or maybe swell has a lump onto it, that means you need to change the battery. Okay, so this is the battery cable. To remove the battery, you just got to pull the cable. There's no clipper or anything that holds onto the battery. It just a push in battery and that should be it. To remove the battery, you would have to remove four, four one, two, three, four, five screws. And they're just a regular Phillips screws. Okay, once you have that five screws removed, the battery will just come right out. For those of you who wants to do a battery replacement, this is where you're going to look for the battery. The type of the battery is 33YDH. And you can find a replacement on eBay or Amazon. 
All right, let's put this on the side. And here comes your hard drive. This is just a regular hard drive, two and a half inch HDD drive. If you're planning to upgrade your hard drive to a solid state drive and SSD, you can do that. So um, when you buy a new SSD drive, the new SSD drive does not come with Windows. And without the Windows, the computer doesn't boot, boot up to the operating system. So you would need to go to Microsoft website, maybe download the Windows 10 installer file, turn the Windows installer file into a bootable USB drive or a DVD drive, uh, D, uh, like a disk, and then do the installation on a new SSD. And if you want to say upgrade from the current existing drive to an SSD, uh, maybe you can do like a clone so you can clone the hard drive to a SSD drive you will need to have like a docking station and a special software to do the cloning I'm not going to do that in this video like I said this video here is just like a tear down a hardware replacement video uh, but if you like me to show you on how to do the Windows 10 bootable installer disk uh, please comment below if I see a lot of requests for that I would make one video just for you know to show you how to do the installation and also if you like me to show you on how to do the cloning to clone a regular hard drive to a SSD drive uh, just comment below say hey I like it can you please do that and I'm more than happy to show you guys or you can look it up on YouTube there are plenty of people who uh, explain those steps all right, so the next part is, let's take a look here. Um, I'm gonna disconnect the fan as I need to change the fan out. So go ahead and remove the screw here. And I need to disconnect the cable. This is where the fan cable is. Alright, so there you have it. And if you want to look for the fan replacement, um, you can look it up here. This is probably CM. I can't really read it, but yeah, you know where to look for the parts. Uh, just to look for the numbers right here. Okay, so the fan here is not working. Let me see what's going on. Alright, so here comes the second fan. So remove the two screws again. There's one here. There's another one. Disconnect the cable and this is where you look for the parts for the fan. Okay, so here is your screen as you can see this cable here if you follow along the cable and this is your um, your LCD screen connector so there's this little clipper you, you need to flip it up and remove that cable alright so here's your entire heat sink uh, probably the graphics card and the CPU are attached here to the heat sink but if you want to apply a new thermal paste meaning that if if it feels like the computer is, is running really hot, you know, or maybe that um, you want to apply some of the new thermal paste, uh, this is the step where you're going to do it. Okay, so remove the screw. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, you can see that the thermal pads are still here. 
okay so the thermal pad is to hold on to these chipsets okay the black one those are the chipsets uh, where it conducts through the thermal pad and this is a thermal paste and you can see that it's dry still a little bit moist but it's pretty dry so what you want to do is you want to get one of these alcohol wipes and go ahead and wipe off the thermal paste and put a little tiny paste on the CPU and the graphics card okay so let's put the uh, heat sink on the side and if you want to change the heat sink way to look for the parts you just got to look for this tag okay so the next step is um, if you're planning to upgrade your RAM as you know that this is the second slot the secondary slot is empty you can buy a DDR4 RAM and this one here runs on a 8 gigabytes and it say PC4 PC4 stands for DDR4 so you can buy um, another additional 8 gigs of RAM and add it onto your computer here uh, it's pretty easy you just have to slide it into the slot and then push it down when you push it down the two clipper will just lock onto the RAM alright so the next part um, let's take a look here would be your motherboard the motherboard is pretty straightforward first of course you need to disconnect all the cables right these are all the cables let's go ahead and disconnect them this is your keyboard backlighting this is the keyboard cable okay and here comes your Wi-Fi so what I usually do is I like to label my Wi-Fi cable so I know that the white cable is on the left the black cable is on the right with the blue matching each other I will not mix up the cable after okay then there you have it there's your Wi-Fi card you can just remove it the Wi-Fi cable is attached to the LCD screen here so leave them as on the side okay so the next step let me go ahead and open up the hinge so there's one screw at the bottom the left and the right okay once you have that go ahead and slightly push the hinge upwards and this is where you can see your charging port the DC jack the DC jack is not soldered onto the motherboard which is a good thing if you by accident you broke the DC jack or something happened to your DC jack you can just replace the DC jack like that uh, if you want to find the replacement part look it up here on this tag um, or maybe just look up the the serial number or the product number on this tag here so here go that just that is your DC jack connector the next part I'll be doing is try to remove the motherboard so there's one screw two screw and three screws I think those are the three screws that holds on to the motherboard all right before I remove the motherboard if you want to ask me is there a M.2 solid state drive on this laptop the answer is yes so here at the bottom right corner next to the speaker this is where your M.2 operating system runs on to okay so the hard drive here on the on the left side it might have been the secondary drive so main drive for your C drive this is the data drive maybe it's under the D drive alright so this here have two screws and I believe this is the like a uh, heat sink for the M.2 drive okay so once you remove that 
and you can slide out the SSD drive. So right here it says 16 gigabytes. Uh, it's very small and I believe it's just probably holding onto uh, maybe a recovery or a bootable OS but nothing really special. But if you want to run entirely on an M.2 drive, uh, you need to increase this to like a maybe at least 256 or 512 gigabytes. It will be better if you increase up to 1 terabyte uh, SSD drive, stick it in here, do the installation on the OS, and you can just forget about the secondary regular hard drive. Alright, so that goes to that. And here comes the motherboard and you can just remove it entirely oops the speaker is still connected here so once you remove that speaker cable and you would have your entire motherboard for those of you who wants to replace the motherboard you probably would just look it up the model here cal 53 la f611p uh, this is a 2018 motherboard you know just look it up online I'll try to put um, or here right the model what I'll do is I'll try to have um, the parts in the description below where you could click on the link and buy the replacement part um, yeah alright so the next thing is if you wonder how to replace the keyboard uh, you can see that the keyboard here is all together in one piece it is not like a, a separate keyboard where there's a screw on two so this keyboard is you know it's a punch down that lock on two so if you happen to have a bad keyboard and you need to do a replacement you would actually have to replace entire palm rest and the keyboard all in one piece together okay um, Yep, so if you have any question, uh, please comment below. I'm more than happy to, you know, help you or guide you on your repair. Um, please like the video if you find this is helpful. I really appreciate that you share the video and, you know, subscribe to the channel. It keeps me motivated to make more of this type of video for you. Um, until next time, please take care and good luck with the repair.